so beautiful, man. So beautiful. Hey everyone, welcome back to the third day of my trip to Rana Rajasthan, where things turn good, bad, and ugly. <laughs> destination is mumbai last night we had amazing sleep amazing because we took a ac lodge yesterday 1100 so stand the ac and then slept beautifully but still the body feels a bit tired i think after the two days of continuous riding it's a long way to go almost 350 kilometers on that two hour coastal winding road so you can see it like this we will not push it today if we make it to make it to mumbai Otherwise, we stop at the last coastal stop, that is Alibag. Stay there. Next day morning, go to Mumbai and halt there Mumbai one entire day because we have some chores to do. So that's the plan for today. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Hopefully everything works out. Beautiful morning from Buhagar. The beach is so close, it's just 200 meters from where we stayed. Actually, we tried going in the night, but it was pitch dark, so we came back. The first stop is Raildur. From there, we have to catch a ferry. There are three ferry rides today. Two and a half years back when I went to Ladakh. Till Manali, we didn't take a break at all. Every day, we were riding 500 to 600 kilometers. Only at the fifth day, I felt... kind of tired and body kind of giving up and all that stuff. Staying only one day was a recharge. But this time around, this is just the second day and I'm already feeling dead beat. So I was wondering what happened. Either it's because I aged two years <laughs> or it's because we uh, didn't have highway ride yesterday, right? Full, it was like twisting, winding roads, all these bad, bad sections. So it was constant accelerating, braking, accelerating, braking, accelerating, braking. So maybe that's why. Anyways, As I say, throw your mind over the line, the body will follow. <laughs> the excitement of seeing more of Kumbhan Coast today kept us going till we reached the first ferry. <laughs> Look at the mist man. Beautiful, beautiful. Bicep. बाइक दो वन थर्टी है ना कब आएंगे सर अच्छा ओके थैंक यू मैन सी दैट मिस्ट इन द बोट इट्स जस्ट ब्यूटीफुल लाइफ इज अ वाइंडिंग रोड नो टेलिंग वेयर इट गोस ड्राइविंग टू डेज एंड नाइट्स वोंट स्टॉप फॉर ट्रैफिक लाइट God, it is slipping like crazy, man. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling down. We really wish the ferry ride was a little longer because the view from the ferry was amazing. The Chagar ride was pretty cool <laughs> because the early morning mist, it was amazing and there was not much crowd in the ferry. So we could just move around, click photos, enjoy. <laughs> and it was not bouncy bouncy like yesterday. Oh, yesterday it was so bouncy that I was about to throw up. But it was all chill, calm, nice, smooth and beautiful and the views are amazing. Morning sun, the golden hour sun was kissing everything. <laughs> Beautiful. Next stop, Tamasthirth. We'll go to Tamasthirth and have breakfast. I'm hungry, but already. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling down. This is the state highway four. Tell me in the comments if it looks like an highway. There's no network coverage in this area, so so. Mm-hmm. 
we reached Tamastur and then this is very small town no hotels everything is closed we asked the passers by they are like nasta kuch nahi milega till uh, the next main city another one hour away so we are like on the way we get get something it's like nothing we'll get and the locals are saying i don't think maharashtrians believe in the concept of breakfast everybody seems to be up and going for work and other stuff but no hotels nothing होटल विचार ओपन एंड वी आस इज लाइक नाश्ता रेडी नहीं है नाश्ता मिलेंगे क्या है जी है क्या क्या After a nice plate of poha omelet and chai, we are on the road again. Oh, it's becoming hot. Next up is Harnai, Moru Dan Harnai. So we took a detour from the state highway because state highway will go a little bit inland to Dapoli and then go to Harnai, and those are inland roads, not the beach or coastal roads. So we took a detour. Every uh, even when we asked directions to a local person, he was like, "Why do you want to take the coastal road? It's so small and it's long." Quite the artist, right? <laughs> This is exactly where you want to take the coastal route. Oh my God! Oh, 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 it's so amazing. So good, Ella. Nice view. Ha! Huh, if you stop and take photos at every location like this, no. First of all, we will reach not reach Mumbai. Second of all, we'll get fried in the sun. Wow! Except for the plastic, this is amazing. Ooh. 360 This road calls for cycling Oh my god so beautiful <laughs> Wow There's a meeting of <laughs> sparks going on I think Oh it's beautiful man So damn beautiful. Oh my god. So amazing. On the way we spotted few cars on a peculiar beach. We'll try. We'll try. Okay. We'll try riding in the sand. I think it's a popular tourist destination. And cars are going. So I'm hoping we can ride on the sand. It will not get stuck. <laughs> yes, baby. We decided to give it a shot and see what happens. I had trouble keeping the bike upright because the side sand was sinking into the sand. Prasanna got me a big enough stone from the road side which held the bike upright for the entire time. Feels like kids playing with their toys on the beach. Aram, you can ride over it. We spent a lot of time taking photos and chilling. But it is too hot. It is very hot. It is good to come in a beach with beach hair and minimal clothes on. Not with the riders jacket and riders pants and riders boots and riders gloves and helmet. You're literally getting baked out here. Okay, one last ride. Google Chechi underways 
<laughs> oh my god, where is Google Sitch taking us? Look at that! Oh, we reach Harnai. The main issue now we are facing is there is no network coverage in this area so directions are very very difficult to get and if we ask and go for the main towns we will be connected to the state highway which we don't want to go we want to follow the coastal route only and for that the gps is the only answer but issue is every time we have to stop and then reroute and reroute because whenever connection comes it will reroute again and then we'll mess it up and every time we are stopping it is just blazing heat we are sweating under all these layers and today it is sunday so a lot of tourist traffic is there all in all not a pleasant atmosphere <laughs> and next stop is to find a petrol pump oh man i lost him i am so done man it's been 15 to 20 minutes in this small small village roads with no signs of prasanna heavy traffic shit hot i'm sweating like crazy and i don't know the route also this jeep is not working all the enjoyment came to an end very fast i hope this is the correct way because traffic inflow is this way only i badly want to find a petrol pump but water supply has gone off i hope this is the correct route Ooh, is that him yeah that's him <laughs> bro <laughs> I thought I lost you. I, I try to put GPS but not working. So I thought I'll go to the next town when I get range I'll call you in there. Go there. Lighthouse. Lighthouse. The second day on the Konkan coast was no different from the first. It kept amazing us with beautiful beaches in every turn. Kelshi. This is the town of Kelshi, I think. There is no petrol pump here, man. We have to buy petrol from the locals. Okay, then after Jetty, we'll have lunch then. Two liter cut, two bottle buy. Petrol is not there, man. I put it yesterday itself. So what they're telling is, till you join the main highway, you'll not get petrol. This coastal route doesn't have petrol. You have to ask these locals. Petrol, eight liter. Yo, this is fine. Hi, doggy. Take care, Andy. Thank you. Just as amazing views of the beaches were giving us energy, it was getting drained by the heat, bad roads, lack of fuel, and lack of network coverage. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere, we're searching for a ferry service. Oh, this is the ferry service. Until now, we have crossed only 100. Another 100, how will we go? Because. Uh, now 2, 2.30 we will stop for lunch. One hour at least we will spend there, no? No, the big city is there even to find hotels. All are like uh, what we came through. Not even Guhar kind of places are there, no? Everything is small, small. See this, this and all, nothing will be there. Only resorts they have built. Africa town and nothing will be there. And you saw how these towns are. We can't find a place to stay and all in here, in this place. It is around 1.45 now and the jetty will leave at 2.15 it seems. Half an hour lunch break and I think we are going to change plans because we just came 100 kilometers now one. Another 100 is there to Alibag which will not make it even by 5 or 6 o'clock. So the plan is to from here next stop onwards ride back to the highway and head to Mumbai. I don't think because all the small towns where we are not going to find a place to stay. Petrol is a major issue. Petrol pump illa, nothing is there. Too remote for comfort so and since we have a deadline also we'll go to Mumbai I think. That's the plan for now. <laughs> So the 
plan now is to go to Hari Hari Shore, have lunch, and then head back to the Bombay Highway because this coastal route is killing us actually. Because first of all, there's no petrol pump. Second of all, roads are very bad. Oh, it's scary. See, the plan was to drive till Mumbai, which we don't see the possibility of that happening. So we thought Alibag will stay, and then from Alibag, from next day we'll go to Mumbai. So six o'clock we'll start, and then nine or ten we'll reach in Mumbai and spend the whole day there. But now it looks looks like we will not reach Alibag also, because it's that far, 100 kilometers again riding in the sunset. Expected time will reach seven or eight o'clock. It's not going to happen in this remote roads without fuel, without food, without anything, without stay and all. So the best option is to now go to Hari Hari Shore, have lunch, soak in the last. Coastal view that the coast has to come, then coast has to offer, and then head back to the highway. Wish we could complete this circuit, but desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> Beautiful. Anyways, this coastal route is worth taking. Wow. Beautiful. So there's a Hari Hari Shor Mandir. It seems we'll eat here somewhere and say goodbye to the coast. Okay, nice spot to have food. More than just having lunch, we spend a good amount of time soaking in the last of Kongam coastline before we said goodbye. Recharged with vada pav and egg maggi. We headed out towards the Goa Mumbai highway. Okay, an okayish lunch, but for now our stomachs are full, and then now we are headed back. Sad that we had to let this coastal road go. It was nice. Wish we had the time and the energy actually. It's worth coming here early to get the route at least. It's very good. So right now we are heading back to the plains and then the highway after two days of coastal road riding. <laughs> Because in these roads here, yeah, it's uh, very difficult to maintain an average speed of even 40, 50 also. So that's not the worst part. Also, there is no petrol pump, so the fuel is very rarely available, and there is no place to stay. Either they will they have or five star resorts or nothing. So it's better to. Call quits and take a wise decision. Sometimes, yeah, you need to do that for your own safety and for your own good. Finally, some decent roads. <laughs> so happy about it. And then this happened. Let go, bro. Jump in front. Yeah, okay. <sighs> we'll pick up. We we'll put the handle. No, this guy suddenly ran on him. I applied full brake. He like this came directly to the bike. Head down, go listen. I hope handlebar is not bent or fork is not bent. Tore off, huh? Oh fuck. So okay, we'll continue. We will reach Bombay and do the rest of the damage control. <laughs> Chalo, life must go on. No, no. Um, next petrol pump will stop. I hope the T-stem and fork is intact, man. Luckily, none of the levers broke. Oh, finally, petrol pump man. Full tangle. There air check, nae karte. Air check. Let's be sure. More than a hit to the body, it was a bigger hit to the mind. It was a little difficult to gather my thoughts and continue ahead, but nevertheless, life has to go on. Okay. Oh. Everything is done. 
I hope nothing has broken in that accident, meaning that laptops, camera, and all that. Put that we desire to take the Mumbai Highway. It is what happened in many remote places we did up in school. But in a podcast, we are going to apply. We hopefully should figure things out. Good thing is riding gear, man. I can't start the importance of riding gear. I was dragged a couple of meters, but luckily I could just dust it off. Nothing major happened. Heading to Mahagan, I think it's another 15 kilometers from here. Till then, it is like all this gut, guts road, all twisties. I think Mahagan is where we will join the National Highway 66 that comes from Goa and goes till Mumbai. So once we join the National Highway, I think we'll have a little bit of peace of mind. And from there, it's again 100 kilometers. The sun is setting behind us. Bye-bye, Congan Coast. <laughs> we'll miss you. We'll come back one day, hopefully. Apparently, this is the National Highway 66, and this is supposed to take us to Mumbai. Oh my God! I was expecting a highway of like two lane or four lane roads that will take us to Bombay, but no, this is God. I it is going to be a long journey, man. I hate driving in the night with the incoming traffic blaring high beam all the time. Sun is setting. Wow, beautiful, a beautiful disc. We stopped for a chai before continuing riding to Mumbai. GPS is showing we have 2 hours and 45 minutes left. That means around 9.45, 10 o'clock we should reach. We abandoned the Kongan coast, coast route because the roads were bad and we would not make it in time on that. But now look at the state of the highway. Oh my god, so much traffic, horrible road, a lot of dust. Now I think we should have stayed in the Kongan coast early. Pathetic man, pathetic highway. Anyway, we have booked a place, a dormitory for tonight and tomorrow night. Just when we got out for chai, we checked the damage control on my armor. Jacket sleeve is torn. My riding pad left in knee is torn over that knee pad and below. But luckily nothing happened to me, man. So I cannot take the importance of good riding gear. My riding gear, sorry, must seriously, man. Seeing all the damage the bike took and the damage the riding gear took, I am completely unhurt. Not even a scratch and not even a, a bruise, nothing. The importance of riding gear. Yes, I saw many riders I saw when we were coming in the ferry, the second or third ferry. Yeah, I can understand it is humid and hard, but that doesn't mean you can remove your rider jacket and tie it around your waist and ride around. Then that defeats the purpose of riding jacket. Riding gear is not to look cool, right? It is a protective. It is not meant to be comfortable. It is not comfortable. When everyone is having a nice time in the beaches, we were like sweating like crazy and we were, our bodies were screaming for help. That is a given when you are wearing, even wearing mesh jackets. But see this, a small instant, a fraction of a second, even when I was completely awake, it's not a sleep and completely away, completely fresh. It took only a fraction of a second for us to fall and did so much of damage to the bike. See that guard is broken, glass is broken, this light clamp is bent, crash cut took a heavy beating, handle is wobbling, so much impact. But still, I'm completely unhurt. I had to check the luggage if my laptop is alright, but otherwise completely unhurt. Even though it is so humid and hot and uncomfortable, we stuck to wear this thing and never removed our riding gears for any matter. Another 50, 60 to kilometers to Bombay. 74 kilometers ah 74 kilometers is left and see the traffic entrance to Bombay oh my god I don't know if we'll be able to reach or not because of our long travel suspension we were able to climb this bend I don't know if camera can pick this up and see the depth of it <laughs> it looks so difficult. I was, I was very scared and skeptical, but easily got you pull through it. So local told us this road is still not open, but its construction is over, so you can just go through it on that. So that's why we are trying this route out. I hope we can cross this. Oh man, it's a deep notch ahead. And sack is there. Yes. Oh, oh my God! Look at this traffic jam. Finally, it's nine o'clock. The bigger lights, buildings, and the roads. But a sigh of relief after a tough day. I think we should reach in another one kilometer. 10 o'clock already. Ah, there's a Royal Enfield shoe in here. Maybe there's a service center nearby where I can get handlebar for tomorrow. Amen, dormitory. Yeah, this is the one. We spent the next two nights in Mumbai. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. See you in the next one where we head further north.